All right, welcome back to what might be our last review or example video of the semester. So this is example eight. We're going to be talking about showing that languages are either undecidable or unrecognizable by turning machines via reduction, showing that if we could decide these languages, we could decide other languages that we know cannot be decided. This is a companion video to lecture 10, and it corresponds to material on pages 216 to 220 of SIPSER. So let's get started. What we know is that this first language, ATM, consisting of um, pairs, whoops, I erased it there, pairs of a Turing machine and a string such that M accepts W, that's undecidable. We've also shown that this language ETM of all encoded TMs that don't accept any strings, also undecidable. We'll use those two facts as the basis for the contradictions we're about to prove. Let's jump right into it. We want to show that the language EQTM, which takes in two TMs, contains the string that encodes the TMs if and only if they have the same language. They recognize the same language. We want to show that this is undecidable. And our proof will go as follows. So we'll assume that some decider T decides EQ TN. So this is an assumption. We want to find a contradiction that follows from this assumption. So given T, we'll use T to build a machine that does something impossible, decides ETM. We'll build a machine S that decides ETM as follows. So S is a turning machine that does the following on input M. First, S writes down the description of a machine M no, where M no is a simple Turing machine that rejects all strings. So M no is definitely in ETM. It rejects everything. Two, S runs T on the input M paired with M no. So T is a decider by assumption. So this simulation is guaranteed to halt. And we'll do the following. If T, M, M no, accepts, then we accept. Otherwise, reject. Now, I claim this is a decider for ETM. Why? Well, T on M and M no will accept if and only if these two machines accept the same language. That's by assumption. This is what T does. It decides EQTM. Uh, they recognize the same language only if M recognizes the empty language, because M no does that. So if T, M, and M no accepts, that means M must recognize the empty language. So we'll accept M as a member of ETM. That's an if and only if condition. So we reject otherwise. Uh, and we know our simulation will stop because by assumption, T is a decider. So this amounts to a contradiction um, because ETM is not decidable. Thus, our assumption is false. EQTM is undecidable. Our second example for the day 
is going to be an unrecognizability example, which is actually very similar. Um, we'll use the same kind of argument to prove unrecognizability that we did to prove undecidability. So we'll consider this language loop. And loop takes in Turing machines and strings and accepts if M is a Turing machine that runs forever on input W. This is very much like the complement of the halting problem. So our proof, we'll assume for contradiction, there exists a recognizer R for loop and use it to build a decider for ATM. So given R, we will use R as a subroutine to build the following machine that contradicts something we already know. So we'll define this machine S and S will do the following. On input, M and W, because S is gonna be a decider for ATM. So S should decide if and only if, uh, S should accept if and only if M accepts W. Um, we will simulate M on W and R on M W in parallel alternating steps of computation. So what am I doing here? Well, neither one of these processes are guaranteed to halt. So I'm going to jump back and forth, simulate one for a little bit, then the other for a little bit, then the one for another bit, for a little bit, and the other for another little bit. And we're gonna alternate steps until one machine accepts. If M W accepts, accept. If R of M W accepts, we reject. So I claim this is a decider for ATM. So S decides ATM and halts on all input. This is a requirement for a decider. All deciders must halt on all input. The reason I'm writing it out is because it may not be totally obvious this machine always halts. Here's the argument why. So S will take as input M and W, and it'll run these two simulations in parallel. Uh, by definition, R is a recognizer, so it will halt and accept if M runs forever on W. In other words, if M halts, R might run forever, but we know M W will halt. Um, if R halts, then M will run forever, but we know R halts. So one of these two things is guaranteed to halt. Um, I should add an additional condition. If M W rejects, we'll reject. Just to cover the case, where uh, MW rejects and R of MW runs forever. So what that does now on the assumption that loop is recognizable, we've built a paradoxical Turing machine, something that decides ATM. ATM is not decidable. So this is a contradiction. So I hope those two examples of reductions used to show that languages are undecidable and unrecognizable will help you as you prepare for the final. Um, this is one of our last critical skills for the semester. So good luck with that. And I will see you in our last class on Tuesday.